Okay guys, last HTML exercise using good colors. Style this table of Isaac Newton's discoveries. Use a uh, hashtag 5F9EA0 for the header row and then alternate the colors between these two here. Okay, so our goal is to have uh, this blue header and then alternate between this olive and purple. So let's go. Okay, now when you run the code, there's no color. We're gonna add this in to the appropriate rows and we are going to use the colors that uh, are given to us Ooh, what is going on style equals background color okay so we want the first one to be this color i'm gonna copy that okay and run it okay looks good and then we want to alternate the rows between that uh, again that that green and that magenta whether or not you think these are good colors that that could be a matter of opinion um, I'm not too crazy about the color in this exercise but the point is that when you have a table like this with a lot of information it could benefit from being broken up with some color to make it easier to read and also when you are choosing colors you want to make sure that there's there's good contrast so they're not they're not they're not clashing and, and technically since pink and green are complementary these these colors would be considered uh you know sound uh, options for, for contrast purposes. Okay, so that looks good. And then the next row, you wanna add in that magenta background color. So same property. The only thing we're changing in each row is the hex code that we're using. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna paste that in there and run it and see what I got. Okay, looks good. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and finish that up. I just wanna say, if you made it to the end of HTML, really, really, really awesome work, guys. I'm really proud of you. Next up is gonna be CSS, where we're gonna be learning about styling. It's the companion language that goes with HTML. Please tune into that unit for, um, for more details. Nice job, everybody.